Hey guys! Welcome and welcome back to our channel. And today, I will be answering one of the most asked questions in the history of K1 and K2 visa application. Like, in my very own experience, I probably have 30 or 40 subscribers who already asked this question. So I decided might as well make a video of it so that, you know, if there's anyone who needs this information, it's already on video on YouTube. The question that I'm going to be answering today is what K2 requirement or requirements or documents should I be including in my K1 visa packet? Before I answer that question, just a quick disclaimer. Any information that I am sharing in this video is based on my research and personal experience. I am not a lawyer, nor related or affiliated to any immigration agency. What documents or what K2 documents do you need to include in your K-1 visa packet? None, nada, nothing, voila. <laughs> There is nothing that you should be including in your K-1 visa packet. You will worry about your K-2's documents and requirements after your notice of action 2 is sent to you when you're ready to schedule your interview in the U.S. Embassy and when you are ready to do your medical examination. That's the only time you would worry about your K-2's requirements. There is nothing all right, no requirements, nothing that you need to send together with your K-1 visa application packet. All you gotta do is to make sure that you write the name or names of your K-2 under children of beneficiary on page seven of the I-129F form. If you have more than one K-2, you can use Part 8 additional information to add the names of your other K-2s. If you like this video and if it helped you guys, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe to our channel because I will be sharing a lot of information about life here in the United States. And I will be answering uh, new questions about K-1 and K-2 visa application because I know my old videos are pretty old. So we need to update those and I am warmed up. I will be adding updated videos about k1 and k2 and at the same time green card application thank you so much for all your support guys and i hope this short video helped you feel free to comment down below if you have additional questions i am very responsive i respond as quickly as i can thank you bye guys